Tag and Brag Nation, what is up? It is a beautiful Thursday here in Northeast Ohio. Beautiful Thursday. I mean, it's only 45 degrees, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Real quick, I'm just doing a uh, run around mineral check. And the reason I'm doing that, I put minerals out about a month ago. This is the time to hit it hard with the minerals. And, uh, but we got blasted with snow like two or three times since then. So I'm just going to check them. I'm gonna replenish them a little bit. Make sure there's an ample amount there for when the deer need them most, which is right now. We've had a lot of people asking us questions, uh, some strategies and some stuff about minerals. I'm just gonna hit it real quick. Guys, there's no written rules to this kind of stuff. My opinion is get these minerals as close to where these deer most frequent right now and there's there's so many good mineral places that you can find and all these different properties you know depend on that wherever you're hunting i mean it could be a little pinch point it could be three to four trails that intersect at one point great mineral spot it could be a little trail uh next to some water it is good to have water there because they're high in, a lot of these minerals are high in salt content so what happens when you eat something salty? You get a little thirsty. I mean, edge of a food plot that the deer are still hitting right now. It's important to realize that you just want the minerals where the deer most frequent because this is not an attractant. Some people, some people kind of mix the two up. Minerals are not attractants. The deer hit them when they need them. They're not gonna go to them or want to go to them on a daily basis. They're not gonna travel a mile to go to a mineral site. But if they're in the area, eating, browsing, bedding, whatever they're doing, and there's minerals very close, you're doing them a favor because it's available to them and they're gonna hit it. That's the whole point. That's the name of the game right there, baby. The name of the game. A lot of us are putting these minerals out because we wanna grow some bone on top of our buck's heads, right? That's what I like to do. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and sell you on a mineral and tell you, you gotta use this, you gotta use that. I'm not gonna be a walking advertising billboard for this mineral or that mineral. But what I will tell you is that deer's racks are mostly made up of calcium and phosphorus. There's about four other trace minerals that are important there too, but there's two main ones, calcium and phosphorus. So if I'm gonna put a mineral out, what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go and look at the bag on the ingredients and I'm gonna pick whatever is highest in calcium and phosphorus so that I could grow some bone. It makes pretty much, it makes pretty logical sense, doesn't it? We use Booner Max Minerals from Horny Buckseed and that's between 21 and 24% calcium and around 7% phosphorus. Now, if you can find anything up in that range or anywhere near that, I would suggest it because the deer are gonna use it and it's gonna grow bone, I promise you. Tag and Brag Nation, that's my mineral rant for the day. Like I said, there's no right or wrong here. If someone tells you, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it this way, they don't know what they're talking about. There's two main trails. That come and intersect right here. Mineral site goes right in the middle. <laughs> 